It is 12.20 in New York, a Friday, three days after Bastille Day. Yes, it is 1959, and I go get a shoe shine because I will get off the 419 in East Hampton at 7.15, and then go straight to dinner, and I don't know the people who will feed me. I walk up the muggy street beginning to sun, and have a hamburger in a malted, and buy an ugly new world writing, to see what the poets in Ghana are doing these days. I go on to the bank, and Miss Stillwagon, first name Linda I once heard, doesn't even look up my balance for once in her life. And in the Golden Griffin, I get a little for Lane for Patsy, with drawings by Bonnard, although I do think of Hezoid trans, Richmond Lattimore, or Brendan Behan's new play, or Le Belcon, or Les Negres of Gennett, but I don't. I stick with Verlaine after practically going to sleep with quandrariness. And for Mike, I just stroll onto the Park Lane liquor store and ask for a bottle of Strega, and then I go back to where I came from, to 6th Avenue, and the Tobacconist, in the Ziegfeld Theater, and casually ask for a cartoon of Good Voices, and a cartoon of Nick and Eunice, and a New York Post with her face on it. And I am sweating a lot by now, and thinking of leaning on the John door in the five spot, while she whispered a song along the key.